Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the graduates from the College of Agriculture and Food Science. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Agriculture, Veya Z. Kabuya, Joel John S. Carino, Arian D. Cinco, John Marius G. De La Cueva, Jane Pauline M. Esguera, Ronnie A. Gruba, Jedrick P. Jose, Julianne D. Calao, Dariel C. Manalastas, Nicole Angeli M. Perez, Christian Lee M. Resurrection, Bianca Alina P. Sagin, Rujev John S. Sotolombo, Joveline Fe J. Tolentino, John Dave M. Abelia, Eliza Ruth M. Aranzazo, Roland M. Atanante, Mary Rose. S.M. Bahamonde, Charisse C. Bautista, Jason James B. Bautista, Mark J.V. A. Bautista, Christine John F. Beler, Janica C. Benoya, Christian H. Castro, Obrey de Palma, Les A. Garachico, Hamnet C. Garcia, Laila Bonet P. Gonzalez, Alan Joshua D. Herrera, Emmanuel T. Lalo, Christine Grace Angela R. Lapitan, Patrick Dave D.C. Lapitan, Marlon A. Miras, Carl Matthew Q. Pangilinan, Catherine R. Patricio, Ebrahim R. Ramos, Maria Elaine Erica L. Simon, Joshua P. Sumagam, Vince Phoenix D.C. Torno, John Julius B. Trinidad, Grisia Nikita P. Velasquez, Renz Paolo L. Vibal, Kyla C. Villegas, Roxanne C. Siwagan, Cum Laude, Recipient College of Agriculture and Food Science, Dean's Medal of Academic Excellence. Alaya, Jarzel, and Maniogo, cum laude, recipient, College of Agriculture and Food Science, Dean's Medal of Academic Excellence. Emerald, Flor, A. Felicitas, cum laude, recipient, D.A. Bar, Scholarship Medal, and recipient, College of Agriculture and Food Science, Dean's Pedal of Academic Excellence. Andrew Ray B. Abordo, John 
David P. Pisinga, Christian Jonas B. Bismonte, Camille Joy D.C. Katubig, John Hendrick A. Cosico, Angelica T. De Guzman, Paul Kevin Dale E.F. Egamo, Agape Grace C. Espano, Maria Rosario D. Ignacio, Lucky Patrick B. Lopez, Divine Erica T. Madrid, Risa Joy M. Mamplata, Nehemiah Joseph D. Manalo, Malek Renz Jeremiah B. Martires, Daniel A. Morales, Elaine N. Navacero, Carl Anthony S. Osorio, Christian Angelo C. Pavia, Iris P. Roque, Florentino D. Torres Jr., Jose Iñaki A. Valmayor, Fosha B. Villegas, for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Food Technology, Maurice Lindsay G. Baluyon, Carlo M. Mostajo, Francis Mariel M. Trinidad, Zachary Edros M. Aguas, Eliza Ray D. Andres, Martina L. Cledera, Pauline May B. Colantes, Abigail A. Danau, Trisha Marie E. Fausto, Calvin Pierce M. Fernandico, Abelardo M. Mercurio, Verna B. Rodriguez, Angela Luis S. Salazar, Pauline Julia A. Seriritan, Giovanna Patricia R. Tamayo, Jasmine Ray P. Taniera, Andrew James B. Viernes, Bea Aurelia O. Yap, Patricia Bianca T. Zerda, Sofia Pamela Q. Bonifacio, Cum Laude, Recipient College of Agriculture and Food Science, Dean's Medal of Academic Excellence. Carla Paula C. Magsino, Cum Laude, Recipient College of Agriculture and Food Science, Dean's Medal of Academic Excellence. Hannah Joy A. Sigura, Magda Cum Laude, Recipient College of Agriculture and Food Science, Dean's Medal of Academic Excellence, and recipient of Ulyan A. Banson Medal, and Jeanette B. Claridad, Daphne B. De Jesus, Andrea Marie D.C. Delphine, Juan Carlo C. Guidotti, Luis Daniel M. Portada, Alison Gail 
H V. Rayan, Angela, P. Miguel, Hazel, May, Y. Payofelin, David, Ian, O. Pass, Johannes, C. Pelayo, Hazel, A. Rebenke. For the degree of the Bachelor of Science in Agricultural Biotechnology, Ricky Brian Yu Biatang, Zarina J. C. Katapat, Tracy May Sea, Karya Fay R. Magigan, Jomari M. Marasigan. Apple, Joy, V. Mercado. Francis Ann, M. Pasante. Maria, Cristina, Isabel, C. Santayjego. Brian, Anthony, A. Diamante. Cum Laude. Recipient, D.A. Bar Scholarship Medal. Recipient, College of Agriculture and Food Science, Dean's Medal of Academic Excellence. Michelle E. Illumin, Cum Laude. Recipient, College of Agriculture and Food Science, Dean's Medal of Academic Excellence. Sean Levi B. Alpajaro. Emily. E. Anquelo, Diane Micaela L. Benavides, Anthony Esed P. Caballes, Ralph Ryan M. Catibo, Jenna Marie T. Cordero, Maria Angela T. Cruz, Noel. Angelo C. Fulgencio, Janelle Princess V. Maliari, Arthur S. Masangkay Jr., Lynette T. Menoria, Gina Marie V. Pablo, Marco Polo J. Paras, Jedira Ruth C. Kiambao, Alisa Luis V. Bumetivo, Cum Laude, Recipient, College of Agriculture and Food Science, Dean's Medal of Academic Excellence, Miki Angela T. Kurahashi, Cum Laude, Recipient, DOST Scholarship Medal, and Recipient, College of Agriculture and Food Science, Dean's Medal of Academic Excellence. Angelica Claudia A. Balitaan, Cum Laude. Recipient, College of Agriculture and Food Science, Dean's Medal of Academic Excellence. John Jacob A. Emelido, Marlon B. Cantal, Marinela Carla H. Castillo, Calvin Jill A. De Guzman, Sendrel Van B. Parate, Sheena Finn B. Pisco, Siegfried Paul Ian M. Turan, Timothy D. Quinto, Magna Cum Laude, Recipient, College of Agriculture and Food Science Dean's Medal of Academic Excellence, and Recipient of Emil Q. Javier Medal of Excellence in B.S. Biotechnology, for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Agricultural Chemistry. Rubimar M. Ordoño, 
Jasper Jory M. Eugenio, cum laude, recipient College of Agriculture and Food Science, Dean's Medal of Academic Excellence. Christian John G. Cordero, cum laude, recipient College of Agriculture and Food Science, Dean's Medal of Academic Excellence. Kyla Marie B. Almario, Judy Cristel V. Bayalas, John Tristan P. Cruz, Christina Carla R. Lopez, Fritz Benedict V. Villacarlos, Raynet B. Vargas, Cum Laude, recipient DOST Scholarship Medal, and recipient of the College of Agriculture and Food Science Dean's Medal of Academic Excellence. A pleasant morning to everyone and to the UPLB class of 2020. Let us congratulate ourselves for hurting every difficulty that we encountered in our journey towards graduation. Let us not just applaud our fellow students who are graduating with Latin honors, but also those who did not wait for their formal graduation to assume their responsibility as members of our society. Let us be thankful to our fellow students who are selfless and brave enough to go out on the streets and be the voice of the voiceless while minding their academic requirements. These questions made me realize that my worth as a person and my ability to make a change in our nation are not inversely related to the number of years I took to finish my degree program. Five long years of perseverance, diligence, and yes, moments of doubt. But finally, here I am with my sublime. This is not to encourage academic delinquency, but to remind people that things could still get out of hand even if you exerted so much effort to avoid such unfortunate circumstances. However, let us be mindful that there is always another chance to find a way back to our goals, and that is if we just keep on reminding ourselves that we have a definite purpose to fulfill despite the delays and the setbacks. I also hope that people will stop being judgmental to delayed students and invalidating their efforts. Let us constantly be reminded that we are not actually aware of what they had to go through just to attend every class or to submit every class requirement. And to you, my fellow graduates, let us remember that each of us has a story worth sharing because it is not just our academic feats that make our stories and college life valuable, but rather the lessons that went with them. I therefore encourage everyone to let your stories be heard. Let your stories spark hope in our nation during these trying times. Let your stories inspire other UP students who are still fighting for their eventual graduation. Let your stories help in building a dream of a 10-year-old elementary student in your community. Let your stories encourage incoming and current college students to broaden the purpose of their professional dreams, from just earning a decent income for their families to also serving our nation. Aside from inspiring people, I also believe that our stories are meant to open eyes. I am well aware that with us are graduates who struggled financially while finishing their degree programs because of the multitude of academic requirements that they had to spend their time allowances on. Some of us may even have friends, former classmates, or relatives who opted to stop attending college because of the lack of financial resources. Let us then amplify these stories to serve as a wake-up call to those officials sitting inside their air-conditioned government offices that quality education remains a privilege for some instead of being a right for everyone. Some of us 
may also belong to communities where out-of-school children and out-of-school youths are common. Let us echo the stories of these people to call for an inclusive education system. And now, that the new normal for students necessitates having stable internet connection and electronic devices, it is expected that more students will be deprived access to quality education. Parati nating naririnig na kabataan ng pag-asa ng bayan. Pero paano ito mangyayari kung hahayaan nating manatili ang isang sistema patuloy na pumapatay sa pag-asa nilang makapag-aral? Let us continue calling for a sustainable change in our education system. Let us strive for a new normal in which no students are left behind because our country is investing more on ensuring equal access to quality education. Right now, we are all enraged with the incompetence of this government in addressing the pressing issues in our country. This should make us more eager to fulfill our duty as a scholar ng bayan para sa bayan while remembering the reasons why we desire to make a positive impact in our nation. I hope the values that the university instilled in our hearts will be our armor against corruption and will be our guide to always side with what is just and right. One of us can be the next leader of this country, but still fail to serve the people because of the lack of compassion and the wrong inclination of the heart. I believe that it takes a radical change in our hearts to continually serve the people without losing hope. And it starts by being compassionate and empathetic of the situation of our fellow Filipinos, especially the underprivileged and the oppressed. From this should stem our personal decision to translate our compassion and empathy into actions that would really lead to the solutions that we desire for our country. With this, I hope that every personal dream that we will make as we go out of the university will always be tied to our aspiration of improving the welfare of those in the marginalized sector and of the betterment of the Filipino nation in general. Nawa ay laging nasa Diyos at Bayan ang ating katapatan. Padayon, mga eskolar ng bayan para sa bayan. Tapat akong sumusumpa bilang isang nakapagtapos sa Universidad ng Pilipinas, nasisikapin kong maging karapat-dapat sa karangalan at pamantayan at kahusayan ng aking universidad na isa sa loob ang mga bagay na mag-aangat sa aking kaisipan at pagkatao at mamamalaging nasa panig ng batas, kalayaan at katarungan, alang-alang lahat sa paglilingkod sa bayan at sangkatauhan. Mangyari lamang na tumayo ang mga magtatapos at itaas ang kanang kamay. Taos puso akong nanunumpa na isa sa katuparan ko ng buong husay, katapatan at walang pag-iimbot ang mga tungkuling nakaatang sa akin bilang kasapi ng samahan ng mga nagsipagtapos sa Universidad ng Pilipinas. Ipagtatanggol ko at ipaglalaban ang kapakanan ng Universidad na aking pinagtapusan ang 
Universidad ng Pilipinas. At ipinapangako ko magiging matapat na nagtapos sa universidad na ito sa lahat ng pagkakataon. Kaya tulungan nawa ako ng Diyos. Pakitaas po lamang ang ating uh, kanang kamay at sumunod po kayo sa akin. Taos puso akong nanunumpa na isa sa katuparan ko ng buong husay at katapatan at walang pag-iimbot ang mga tungkuling nakaatang sa akin. Bilang kasapi ng samahan ng mga nagtapos sa Universidad ng Pilipinas, Los Baños. Ipagtatanggol ko at ipaglalaban ang kapakanan ng universidad na aking pinagtapusan. At ipinangangako kong magiging matapat na kasapi ng samahan na ito. Sa lahat ng pagkakataon, kaya tulungan nawa ako ng Diyos.